Hi, Caleb and Steve with Brownells here. Today we're going to be going over when and where to use Loctite on the AR-15 platform. Now the reason we're doing this video is because in previous videos we've got a lot of responses and opinions on when and where to use Loctite on the AR-15 and a lot of it was incorrect so we figured it's definitely worth making a video over. Yeah, apparently you guys are going through a lot of Loctite so Let's take a look at the gun from beginning to end here. Yeah, and before we do that, I just want to point out the two most common forms of Loctite. You have your, your blue Loctite and your red Loctite. Of course, there's others, but those are the two most common. Um, blue being easy to remove, it can be broken free by hand. Red requiring heat to remove. And starting, from the, starting with the firearm, we'll start from the uh, stock end uh, because this seems to be where most of the confusion is coming oh, from. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we talked about properly staking the castle nut itself, which is this nut right here. And we've got a lot of comments saying, why don't you just use Loctite or uh -huh. just use Loctite? That's the thing to do. I'll just say that this isn't an opinion type thing or we suggest not to use Loctite. This is a please do not use Loctite on your castle nut. Uh, so you have a relatively coarse thread here and you have a steel castle nut and an aluminum thread on the actual receiver extension or buffer tube. Now if you put Loctite in there, yes it'll be easier to break free, but the thing you're going to run into is that it's going to build up in between those threads. It will. One of the threads are going to give and it's going to be the aluminum one and you're going to strip the threads out on your buffer tube and the only thing, the only way to fix that is indeed to replace the buffer tube. So definitely not worth ruining a buffer tube over. And I'll confess, I don't use Loctite for another reason. I'm constantly taking things on and off my ARs, playing with different stocks and buffer tubes, and they're always a work in progress, especially working here at Brownells. You've always got access to different stuff to try on your gun, oh, so yeah. Yeah. I don't Loctite anything because I'm going to be taking it off one day. Yeah, absolutely. And moving on from there, going down to, let's say, your grip here. Now, there's some companies if you'll notice when they come with a new screw, they'll come with a thread locker already on them. Mm -hmm. That's not the same as your red or blue Loctite, even though they may be, it may have a blue uh, color on it. That's not technically Loctite. That's more of just a elastic type resin to help right. it lock in place. It's pretty it's, mild. Yeah, it's not gonna actually lock anything in. It's, it just provides a little more friction. So uh, definitely don't use Loctite down there because you're running into the same situation. You have a steel nut or a steel screw and then the aluminum threads. I've seen a lot of lower receivers ruined because of Loctite. Mm -hmm. So, upper receiver? Yeah, going on to the upper receiver, there's only one thread on the upper receiver and that's the barrel nut thread. That's a biggie. That's the biggie. So, let me say, this applies to everywhere else on the gun, but I'm gonna say it here. Loctite is not a replacement for proper torque. I've seen some people say, well, I don't own a torque wrench, so I just threw a little Loctite on there. Now you generated a whole nother world of issues with that Loctite. Because again, you have a steel barrel nut. Oh, in, in some cases you have aluminum barrel nuts. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, but still, that's a relatively coarse thread as well. And the Loctite, same situation. It's going to build up in between there. Yeah. Now, there's, there are some instances where it's okay to use Loctite between steel and aluminum. Very few of those instances, I, don't, I can't think of any that are okay on the AR-15. Right, and so. it does, most people use the wrong Loctite anyway, it right. seems like, and they're having to put a torch on that thing to get it loose again. Right, exactly. Which I don't really like. So again, don't use Loctite on your barrel nut. It doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. Properly torque it, you'll never have an no. issue. If it, if it was needed, the military would do it. Right. How about muzzle devices? Muzzle devices. So this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, I would say never use Loctite on the muzzle device. There so, are some companies that recommend putting rock set on them. Rock set when you mount the really suppressor. Well. Yeah, and the reason that is is because even if you were to put red Loctite on there, mm -hmm. your barrel is going to heat up to the point to where that red Loctite is going to become dust. Exactly. So it doesn't exactly. matter. That's the thing about rock set. It just kind of takes the heat and stays the way it's always going to be. Right. For most rock sets, the breaking point is, I think, 1,300 degrees. Right. Hopefully, you're not going to get it that hot. Hopefully not. That's red hot. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's getting up there. So, yeah, you can put rock set on the muzzle, but Loctite's not going to help you in any way. Moving back to the gas block, a lot of manufacturers with the set screw gas blocks recommend a touch of red Loctite on the set screws. Mm -hmm. but they do. Honestly, that's not really doing much for you because, again, that's a high heat area. Right. And 
If you've ever installed red Loctite on your gas block and then you shot your gun quite a bit and then took it apart and looked at those set screws, the Loctite that's on there has turned to powder. It's no longer acting as Loctite. I run all mine dry and I've never had one come loose. I mean, I'm sure it could happen down the road at some point, but yeah, again, never has. Properly torquing it and dimpling the bottom of the barrel is going to go a long way with the set screw. Sure, type and some blocks. of those cup point screws anyway dig into the barrel and pretty much latch onto that thing. Yeah, those are great. So again, proper torque is, uh, uh, Loctite is no replacement for proper torque. Um, and if you're concerned enough about it, go ahead and pin your gas block on there. Yeah. So all in all, I guess you're saying lay off the Loctite? Lay off the Loctite. It's great stuff. Yeah, it's great stuff. Lay off of it. You don't need it, it can cause right. more problems if not used properly. Um, and when it comes to rock set, the only place that should be used is on the muzzle device, if, if needed, if recommended by the manufacturer. Very nice. So, all things considered, it'd say Loctite is a no-no on your AR-15 pretty much. If you had disagree with us or you have an opinion of any kind, leave us a comment below. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.